Hi everyone, today we are going to continue practicing money. So we are going to read this story, it is an informational text, and it's called Let's Sort Money. This book is on Epic, so you can look at this book later if you would like to. What is sorting? Sorting means putting alike things into groups. Sorting money helps us count it. So we've been sorting money in math this week. Many kinds of money. Coins are one kind of money. A penny is worth one cent. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth 10 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. So over here you can see a picture of a penny. You can see a nickel, front and back, dime, and a quarter. I want you to turn to maybe a family member, or you could even tell a stuffed animal if you don't have a family member, member near you, and tell them, what do you notice is different about these coins? What makes these coins different? So go ahead, pause the video, turn to a family member, a stuffed animal, a dog, a cat, and tell them, what do you notice is different about all of these coins? and unpause the video when you're ready. Okay, um, I know that you probably said some really great things to a family member or someone in your house. So I'm just gonna tell you some of the things that I notice. So when I look at the penny, I notice that the penny is a completely different color than the nickel, dime, and quarter. The penny is made out of copper and it is brown. I also noticed that the dime is the smallest coin, so that is a little bit easier for me to remember because it is the smallest. I know that that is a dime. Now this is where the nickel and quarter can get a little confusing because they are similar in size, but I always remember in my head that on the quarter, there is a picture of George Washington. Also, on the back of a quarter, there's going to be a bald eagle, which is a symbol for the United States. And it might also have a state on the background, on the back of it. So, quarters always have a bald eagle or they have a state on the back. So, that is how I remember a quarter. A nickel. Um, always has the Jefferson Memorial on the back. So what do you see which U.S. president's faces is on the penny? So do you know whose face that is? That's Abraham Lincoln, and we learned all about him. And he is on the penny. Bills are printed on paper. George Washington's face is on the $1 bill. He was the first U.S. president. So how I like to remember this too is that a dollar and a quarter are related because they both have George Washington on them. One dollar equals 100 pennies. So here's a picture of 100 pennies because a penny is worth how much? One cent. Counting money. Let's sort Luke's coins. Pennies go in one group, dimes will go in another. What do you see? How many quarters do you see? So let's look. How many quarters do you see in this picture? I see four quarters. One, two, three, four. Count Luke's coins. He has three nickels. So one, two, three nickels. I hope you didn't get tricked by that. How many pennies do you see? Okay, let's count them. Now we don't know if there's one hidden here, but we're just gonna say there's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many dimes do you see? One, two, three. There are three dimes. Juan has bills and coins. Let's sort his money. 
Dollar bills go in one pile. Sort the coins into stacks by type. Pennies in one stack, nickels in another. Juan has $3.39. How many $1 bills do you see? Let's count. One, two, three. And then you can see how many nickels he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we count those by fives. And then pennies, one, two, three, four. Four pennies, and we count those by ones. How much money is on this page? Sort and count to find out. Now, we haven't gotten into counting money yet. That will be next week. But if you would like to challenge yourself and count the money, you can. But I just want you to count right now. How many pennies do you see? How many nickels do you see? How many dimes? And how many quarters? So pause the video and solve to figure out how many of each. Okay, let's see. How many pennies did you find? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five pennies. How many nickels did you find? One, two. I hope you didn't get tricked. How many dimes did you find? One. And how many quarters did you find? One, two. And last, how many dollar bills did you see? One, two, three. Good job. And that is the end of our book. So now what you're going to do, you are going to go on to Seesaw and you have an assignment to complete. So on Seesaw, you are going to label what type of coin it is. You're also going to label the value of the coin. And then finally, you're going to challenge your brain and think about how many coins make another coin. So for example, how many pennies do you need to make a nickel? So think, if a nickel is worth five cents, how many pennies would you need? You would need five pennies. So while you're doing this, if you need to use actual coins to do this, you can. You can also um, draw pictures to help you. So I want you to try your very best on the seesaw. All right, thanks for tuning in for math today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.